Hello and welcome. This is Miles McKeon, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of how to navigate our hybrid course in Course Sites. Once you're enrolled and logged into our course, you'll always land on the Start Here page. We begin with a brief welcome introduction, followed by uh, our course syllabus. If you simply click on the syllabus, you should be able to see the syllabus appear here in the form of a PDF. If you don't see it, you can click on the title here and download it. Some web browsers may or may not display this accurately, and so that's why you have two options. To navigate back to the Start Here page, I can simply come over here and use this navigation toolbar and click on the very first one, Start Here, and it returns us. Then I've included a link here so we can get into the week one course materials. All right, well I mentioned we're gonna give a quick tour. Um, we went through the, the Start Here page and then week one, but let me show you how you can navigate the course. If you click on the title, it will take you deeper into the course. So if I click on this course scavenger hunt here, um, it'll allow me to complete the assignment. And um, I always post objectives and directions with the assignment for uh, the reader, for the student. And notice we also have an attached file here. If you click this, it's going to download a Word document to our downloads folder. And I can open that Word document. And this is a, a brief activity we did in class. So you would, uh, you would include um, content here. Once you've completed each of the different questions, you would save the file, save it onto your desktop, and then after you have saved the file, I'm not gonna save just for this particular one, but um, we would come back to the course in week one and we'd upload our work by clicking on the title of the assignment. Now we're within the assignment. I would simply just browse my computer, find the file, on my desktop, choose, and I can also add comments here if I wanted to leave the instructor any kind of brief comments. I can type in this field here. That's not um, required, it's just optional. And finally, we're going to choose submit. Don't forget to hit submit. Once we submitted it, we should see that there's a green banner here identifying that the assignment is complete. And um, if you'd like, you can review the submission history um, and so forth. It'll give you a time and date stamp um, regarding when that particular assignment was uploaded, which is uh, very helpful and handy. Let me show you uh, some tricks for navigating again here. Um, I completed that assignment, but it, you know, if I click on the title of the assignment, notice at the top here that it leaves breadcrumbs across the top. As I get farther and farther into a course, into a week, into a folder, and so forth, these breadcrumbs populate farther across the, this uh, banner here. And if I want to jump back, I can simply just go back a spot or two, click, and it takes me back out into the week one area. Um, it also, the breadcrumbs also show me where I'm at in the course. So I'm within course materials, and that's actually also located right here. Um, this is a redundant means of navigation. I can always get into the course materials by clicking here, and I've organized them by week one, week two, and so forth. Uh, I took the time to cut out a piece from the syllabus. This is uh, just an outline of the topics and the tools and assignments that we're doing um, each week. And if I click on the title of the course materials, I drill back into the week one activities. So um, again, I can just navigate, start fresh back here by clicking on course materials, and then I can click deeper in. I invite you to check out some of these other tabs here, and actually the scavenger hunt will require that, that you do that. Um, for instance, like if I click on the calendar, notice this calendar is very similar to like a Google calendar in terms of if I click on the title of something, for instance here, uh, it has a check plus meaning it's an assignment that's due, I can click on the assignment and I can see information about the event and when it's due and so forth, and I can hit save. Um, notice I can also click on 
Um, as a student, it would view a little bit differently here, but I would I could be able to I can click on the title of the assignment and it'll take me to within the course where the assignment is loaded if it's in week one or week two or whatnot. Uh, so the calendar is a, a nice interactive calendar, and you can also add the calendar to um, like your iCal or your Google Calendar um, so that you can view it from your smartphone and so forth um, using that button there that we just displayed. Great, so. Breadcrumbs across the top allow us to navigate as well as these tools along the side allow us to navigate. They both can take get us to the same place. All right, well that wraps up this short video on navigating course sites and uh, entering the course, navigating to the week one assignments and completing assignments, uploading an assignment and so forth, as well as uh, checking the calendar and uh, checking on due dates and using the calendar as a way to navigate. We also discussed browsing using the uh, breadcrumbs across the top banner as well as using the course tool buttons along the left hand side. Again if you have any questions back on the start here page you can always email me miles.mcginn at bst7.org. Thanks and we'll look forward to seeing you here, you here again soon. Have a good day.